Hi friends. Welcome back. You are watching Success Stimulator. Do consider to subscribe this video. We assure you that you will definitely like this video and have some learning on the given topic. All right. In this video, we are going to discuss about PDCA cyclic approach. And these are the topics covered in this video. Very short note on history. High level interpretation about PDCA. Detailing on PDCA cyclic approach and suitable area to implement PDCA. Let's get started. First, quick discussion on history. We'll not spend more time on history, but let's understand very basics that we should know. PDCA cycle is also known as the Schuhart cycle or the control circle. The cycle is sometimes referred to as the Schuhart cycle since it originated with physicist Walter Schuhart at the Bell Telephone Laboratories in the 1920s. W. Edwards Deming modified the Schuhart cycle in the 1940s and subsequently applied it to management practices in Japan in the 1950s. We call it as Deming cycle as well. That's all about history of PDCA cycle. Let's look at High level interpretation about PDCA. PDCA is nothing but plan. Do. Check. And act. Sometimes called plan do check. And adjust. Is an. Iterative design. And management method used in business for the control and continual improvement of processes and products. What is meant by. Iterative design. Is a design methodology based on a cyclic process of prototyping, testing, analyzing, and refining a product or process. Based on the results of testing, this process is intended to ultimately improve the quality and functionality of a design. The PDCA cycle is also known as PDSA cycle, where S stands for study. It was an early means of representing the task areas of traditional quality management. Okay, now let's look at in detail on PDCA cyclic approach. PDCA cycle, also known as PDSA cycle or Deming cycle, is a problem solving method used for the continuous learning and improvement of a process or product. There are four basic steps in PDCA or PDSA cycle. Plan, identify a problem and possible solutions. Do, execute the plan and test the solutions. Check or study, evaluate the results and lessons learned. Act, improve the plan or process for better solutions. Planning phase, identify a problem or opportunity for improvement. Analyze the process and develop an optimal solution. Do, implement the solution. The solution will be tested in due phase. Collecting real-time data and feedback. Check phase, study the results and adjust. How well the solution worked, how much the goal has been achieved, and whether the methods were proven feasible. Note that there might be, forth and back between do and check. Act, standardize the solution. Integration of all key learnings by the entire process, standardizing successful parts, and avoiding error recurrence. In a nutshell, the ACT phase summarizes the current cycle and prepares for the next. Last but not least, always identify the right team for a successful outcome. All right, we are in the last subtopic of this video. We'll see the areas where we can apply PDCA cyclic approach. Kaizen is the one of the area we can use PDCA approach while implementation. Basically this approach is broadly used, while promoting continuous improvement in the organization. It was explained in detail in one of my video and link is available in the description. Please watch it again for better understanding. The next area where we can apply PDCA is on business impact analysis. I could share the detailed video in the upcoming days on business impact analysis. PDCA approach can also be used, while developing a new design, or improving the existing design of a process, product, or service. All right. I hope you have got some fair idea about PDCA cyclic approach. We shall discuss more about Six Sigma tools and techniques in our upcoming videos. Please share your comments and suggestion for improvement. Also, share it with your friends, family members and knowledge seekers. At last, thanks for watching.